are you ready? Okay, we're back. Have you caught your breath yet? That was a thriller of a game. Anyway, we're going to run it back. So, Nigeria against Australia. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you don't want to miss out on more. So, Nigeria with a black top and the green shorts. A weird combination, but hey, it is what it is. These things work. Nigeria against Australia. Australia running the 4-4-2 with Sam Kerr out for Australia and a couple of other injuries and Nigeria with that 4-2-3-1. Ayinde is back and that woman is a key in Nigeria's midfield so the game started off nigeria were on the back foot australia were relentless with the opportunities but Nadoze was there as always to defend the nigerian backline uche nakanu had a beautiful opportunity to square the ball but she slipped with the opportunity waiting for the striker to score but nigeria was still pushing through we might have been defending but we were striking like a sniper on the counter attack nigeria the game was open but unfortunately Unfortunately, a yellow card was given to Alozier, who's not in the picture there. A very unfair yellow card. But are you surprised? Nobody today now. They always do. You see, they were doing Pasha again. But Nigeria carried on. Not one to be bowed or to be cowed. It's not the first time that officiating goes against us, but we still move forward. Again, Nadozi and the defenders were having the game of their life. Australia was swinging in corners, left, right, and center. But Nigeria no green, man. Nigeria, we know they carry last. Opportunities were few and far in between for Nigeria. Nigeria we were finding it difficult to come out but we had taken control of the game if anything i give respect to randy waldrum for the technique that he played in this game ayinde was in the midfield bossing it and nigeria yes we were under pressure ah it was one of those ones the rope a dope to create space but unfortunately australia took the lead first deep well 45 plus one in stoppage time so australia were feeling themselves at that time but not to be cowed nigeria came back a blocked shot from Ajibade landed on the feet of Uchena Kanu who rolled that ball in the back of the net. So game on. Nigeria were ending the half on a square footing. Nice one. So Nigeria's tails were up and this was going to be a fight. It wasn't just going to be one way traffic. So back in the second half and Australia were on the up again. The crowd were a bit subdued. Surprised at ah, ah, these Nigerians. I thought they were so called 40th or 40 something ranked. They have come here to lie down but Nigeria we know agree. Ayinde was in the midfield bossing it winning a wonderful free kick close to the australia half and then a beautiful second goal by ohale who was kicked in her chest for all her, her her good skills look at that dirty kick to the chest that ball was nodded back by ajibade to ohale who executed a beautiful ball she pushed to the back post and scored that goal and not too long after that super sub super z scores a beautiful goal causing confusion in the australian defense led to the goalkeeper and defender being confused and then who was there but the danger woman Man. I believe Randy Waldron played excellently his mentality in this game to bring Oshola on as a super sub and my sister celebrated she didn't care about the yellow card she was willing to take that yellow card so at this point Nigeria are 3-1 up celebrations all round oh my goodness the stadium sounded like a graveyard there was nobody speaking the only people celebrating were the Nigeria fans who were still loud unfortunately peppering Nigeria but Nigeria were resolute and resilient Australia scored second goal to make it 3-2 and to make it slightly nervy but they were unable to find a goal that will take it to 3-3 not even to win oh, to take it to 3-3 and then finally the referee after 11 minutes of on top of the 90 minutes oh, he blew she blew the whistle and nigeria won this game oh my goodness celebrations everywhere they really deserve to win this game plumta and nadozi celebrating nigeria really played a master class today it was a soccer punch it was the rope -a dope like mohammed ali nice one here nadozi is congratulated by the goalkeeper and also by the captain ebi ebi came on as a late sub to step on the pitch in her sixth world cup and yes celebrations all round these women have deserved that victory with the game that they played today so look at the stats as i said 
Nigeria played a game of absorbing pressure with 36% possession, 11 shots, but we still won. And now we are top of the so-called group of death that we are allegedly the lowest ranked team in that group. But anyway, ah, uh, sorry, Australia. You know, sometimes it's not, you can't always win based on home advantage. Nigeria displayed resolution and a resolute spirit to fight and to conquer in difficult circumstances. Anyway, if you want to hear more from us, please like and subscribe. Naturally, we'd prefer to bring you highlights, but, but FIFA ain't having none of that. Anyway, thank you very much. We are Naja Football Kings. Speak to you soon. Bye now.